Okay guys, what is up and welcome back into the gym guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the position grades against the Buccaneers. So let's get straight into it. First down we got quarterback with another solid grade A. Um but he, he, he did a good job. He put up in scoring position with 42 seconds left. One time out in order to win in advance and he nailed it. He knew well enough to target his best receiver, Cooper Cup, once for a 20 yard jump, and then right after that, in a hurry up offense, in face of a blitz, he does a perfect deep pass with the defender in his face, drop it into the cup, and set up the score. Stafford threw for 28 completions for 366 yards and two touchdowns. Um, yeah, he, he was free, he had zero interceptions, zero fumbles, that was his fault. So, nice solid game by Matthew Stafford, just like in the wild card round, and that's what we need for Matthew Stafford. We need him to play solid games, we need him to be throwing dimes, can't be throwing interceptions, and that's how we're going to win the 49ers game, too. You know, don't throw any interceptions, make nice passes, complete the passes. So, next up we got running back. With an okay C plus grade, Cam Akers took the reins, officially carrying the load for the running backs with 24 attempts, 48 yards, and three catches for 20 yards. The downtown most impactful plays from Akers were two fumbles that were both recovered by the defense, which really sucked. Uh, looking at receivers, Cooper Cup caught nine passes for 183 yards with one touchdown. He did have one fumble, but in the end, most impactful skill player in the game, starting with a 70 yard touchdown, and then two catches on a final drive to set up the win. Odell Beckham Jr. had six catches for 69 yards, which included on a 20 yard catching run to convert on a first down and 20. So, a nice grade A for the wide receiver group. Aside from that, the Van Jefferson didn't really have a big game. He had one or two catches, and not a lot of targets either. Uh, next up we got tight ends. Tyler Higby had four catches for 51 yards. Kendall Blanton scored the first touchdown of the game, which was also his first touchdown of his career. I'm going to give them a solid grade B plus by the tight ends. Kendall Blanton scored his first touchdown of his career. He also had two other catches, I think. He had like two or three catches. Uh, Kendall Blanton was doing solid. Tyler Higby did good, picked up 51 yards. Not bad. Uh, next we're looking at the offensive line, I give him a solid A. They're tasked with the protection and quarterback from one of the most imposing pass rushes in the NFL while I'm missing their best blocker, Andrew Whitworth. The good thing is though, Joseph Noboom has been ready to step in and do a good job against Chase and Pierre Paul, Shot and Vera, Dominican Sue, and Vito Vea. The line allowed only two sacks and held up in the critical moments of the one score game. So solid grade A, I gave the offensive line, man. They did an amazing job. Uh, next up, looking at the defensive line, Aaron Donald had one of three sacks on Tom Brady. He had a total of five tackles, three tackles for loss, three QB hits, and one pass infraction. Great games and Sean Robinson combined for five tackles. The Bucks were held to only 51 yards total rushing, which is huge. Nice grade A plus for them. For the D line. Next up we got linebackers. Leonard Floyd and Von Miller both got sacks on Brady. Von Miller's sack was a strip sack that was recovered by the defense. The edges were um held to a good degree, accounting for the limit of 51 total rush yards by the Bucks aside from the two short yardage touchdown runs. Trevor Howard and Troy Reader combined for nine tackles. Nice grade A for the linebackers. Next up we got cornerbacks, uh, solid B+. Plus. The corners held up their own and would have been under less second half pressure without the offensive turnovers. However, after Brady led the NFL League in regular season touchdowns, Rams secondary held into only one touchdown in this game. Jalen Ramsey had the biggest laps, giving up the deep pass to Mike Evans for the only passing score, which kind of sucked, but hey man, it happens, this is what it is, man. Um, next up, the safeties, Nick Scott, did a, had a really great season again, 
Uh, you have an interception on Brady. Uh, he also posted five tackles, two pass deflections, nice grade A for safeties. Uh, special teams, Matt Gay went three for four on field goals, but hit the game winning 30 yarder. His time expired for the walk off win. Nice grade A coaching. Yeah, um, let's take a look at their grades. Solid grade A for coaching, man. We did pretty good. Um, um, but, you know, aside from that, we played a pretty good game, guys, honestly. Um, we played a pretty game, good game. Um, we were in this, you know, we had huge wins at the beginning. And then I, I thought, you know, we were in trouble when the Bucks were coming back, man. They ended up tying the game. Give the ball to our two playmakers, man. The duo and Matthew Stafford with Cooper Cup is a pretty dang good duo. Um, you know, get those two. Um, and, you know, get them to it. And, you know, great job by them. You know, get us down the field. Kick the game-winning 30-yard field goal. Um, you know, but, um... That's going to be all for today's video, guys, and I will see you guys next time.